there. there's a lot of memories lost in there. Things that I can't ever get back. This is what took everything from Leona Kane, a fire late Monday night. Kane's daughter was alerted to the fire. Her daughter and her daughter's boyfriend, who live in the same manufactured home park, immediately rushed to the burning home to try to get Kane out. They tell us it wasn't easy. Initial attempts to get into the home were not successful. My girlfriend come up here and we couldn't get to uh, the door. We couldn't open the door. So I kicked the window. I went in there and went to her room. I was sound asleep and I heard my daughter come yelling, just screaming in the house, and I knew by the way she was screaming that something was wrong. And I got up and came down the hall, and she said, the house is on fire, the house is on fire, get out. Leona was up and heading toward the front of the house. The home was filled with smoke, but that did little to stop the pair. Both Ferguson and Kane's daughter had been in the home before and knew how to get out. Leona looks at the remains of her charred home less than 24 hours after it was destroyed by a fire and can't help but realize just how lucky she is to be alive. If it would have been five minutes later, I wouldn't be here. If they had, the little girl that lives over there hadn't spotted the fire and called my daughter to come get me out, I wouldn't be here.